Top 10 reason number nine, the current state of the global economy. Throughout history, societies have swung back and forth from quality money to quantity currency and back again. Originally, quantity currency took the form of debased coinage, like gold and silver that has been diluted by adding cheap and abundant base metals such as copper. Then it took the deceptive form of national currencies that were initially backed by money. In other words, they were claim checks on gold. But once these were established, governments then changed the laws to make fraud legal so they could print claim checks on gold that didn't exist. The next step was to sever the connection between money and currency entirely. Back when we used real money, gold would automatically balance all economies. When one country would experience an economic boom, they would import cheap goods from countries with depressed economies and lower wage rates. The outflows of gold from the boom country would cause a deflation, cooling the economy, while the countries experiencing gold inflows would boom, causing their labor rates to increase, which in turn would cause the prices of their goods to rise. This meant that trade imbalances would always automatically rebalance. With gold, government spending was also constrained. If a government wanted to spend more than its income, also known as deficit spending, it had to borrow gold from the private sector. If the government borrowed too much gold, it would cause interest rates to rise, which in turn would slow the economy, which in turn would cause tax revenues to fall. But the debt-based global monetary system has allowed deficit spending and trade imbalances and bubbles to persist and balloon to levels unprecedented in all of history. The credit debt bubble and the derivatives bubble threaten to take down the world economy. The only comparison you could make is to take every great bubble in history times one million and have it burst everywhere on the planet simultaneously. It threatens to be a global financial nuclear holocaust, the only survivors of which will be the owners of gold and silver. This is just one of the reasons why I buy gold and silver. Now I'd like to show you how to buy gold and silver. Before you buy an ounce of gold or silver for yourself, I want to send you a free copy of my book, Guide to Investing in Gold and Silver. It tells you everything you need to know about owning gold and silver, including where to store it, the pitfalls to avoid, how this industry works, and which bullion products I buy for myself. I'm proud to say it's the best-selling book on precious metals investing of all time. I've just released a fully updated version and it's yours absolutely free. All you have to do to get it is follow the link below and tell me where to send it. Enjoy the book, please share this video, and thanks for watching.